the yeah. things are working out for my good. Yeah. The Bible told me that all things are working together for my good. Amen. So even though it don't look too good right now, I still know in the end it's to my benefit. Amen. Amen. It is so. Yes, How many of you really believe that? Amen. 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 If you really believe that it's really working out for your benefit, amen, you ought to have a smile in your face. You ought to be able to lift your hands and just tell God thank you as you walk through the house during the day. Amen. God, I thank you. You just say, well, it's not everything I wanted to be, but God, I thank you that it's not what it used to be. I'm thankful that it's not what it could have been. I thank you that it's as well as it is. I believe we ought to live in an attitude of gratitude. We ought to live in a place of praise and thanksgiving, a place, a place of worship and magnification of our great God. We ought to see that God put great potential down on the inside of us, and we ought to tap that potential. There's businesses sitting down on the inside of you right now that you might have been sitting back on, but I'm telling you there's a day to get up and get moving about your business. There's books down on the inside of us that we need to get to writing. There's a favor that God has placed on your life, and it's time for us to move in that favor. Amen. Amen. It is so. Yes, it is. The word life. Finishing strong. Amen. Y'all declare, I'm going to finish this year stronger than I've been all year long. All right. I'm going to be more faithful to God than I've ever been in my entire life. Yes, I'm going to hear and obey quicker than I've ever heard him and obeyed him before. You ought to open your mouth and release that. If that's something you want. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes, we can't afford to be the same forever. Amen. Life is all about change. Yes, yes, it is. Are you hearing? From the time the sperm meets the ovum, there's forever change in the life of an individual. Yes. Even after death, it doesn't stop at death. Amen. Even at death, the body starts a deep composing process, a degenerative Amen. process. Amen. And so now cells start dying and rigor mortis set in and later rigor mortis let them go and it just keep on breaking down and the bacteria keeps eating and they're disintegrating the body so at death change don't stop. Amen. Are you hearing? Amen. So you and I ought not be satisfied to stay exactly where we are Amen. when God has more for us. I'm declaring I'm walking in everything God has for me. I may not have done the best on yesterday, but by God's grace, I'm doing better today and will do better still tomorrow. Amen. Jesus. Do you receive this word to your life? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, tell somebody. Say, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And better. And better. Say, so my, my good. I'm not going to let it rest. I'm not going to let it rest. Until my good is better. Until my good is better. And my better is better. And my better is better. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Glory to God. Come on, put your hands together and give the Lord a clap. Give the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Guard your, your word life, church. Guard your word life. Guard your word life. Speak the protection of God over your household, over your family. Amen. Amen. Never want to hurt our families. No, we declare they are covered by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Listen, if you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, you can get to know him today. Some of the best words we can ever put into the atmosphere is Lord, save me. I want to know you as my personal Savior. And so if that's you today, you say, I'm not saved, but I want to be saved. Would you include me in the prayer? You can just lift your hand. Would you include me in the prayer? I want Jesus in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe you're one of those persons. You've already accepted it. You've accepted, received Jesus into your life. What your challenge is, honoring him more. You say, yeah, that's, that's what I want to do. I just want to honor him more. Would you include me in the prayer? You can see them. Yes, ma'am. I see your hand. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Amen. I'll bet others just, I just want you to pray for me. I want to honor him more. I want to do better in the days ahead than I have in my past. Would you include me in the prayer? Glory. Yes, ma'am. I see your hand over there. Glory. Yes, sir. I see your hand. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're getting ready to pray. Would you bow your heads with me down?
Father, I thank you that you would love us enough as to send us your word today and to illuminate truth of your word at the level of our understanding. God, I thank you that you've allowed us and you've blessed us, oh God, to be able to speak things into existence, to cause things to manifest in our word. And God, right now, we, we apologize for using words the wrong way. Lord God, speaking things that did not help us or others, words that did not honor you. But I ask you now, Father, to help us in going forth from this moment forward to speak words that will be a blessing to us and others, words that will honor and glorify you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we will speak in agreement with what you have already said, knowing that you will always honor your own word. And so, Father, I just bless you for these, your people today. Thank you for those who lifted their hands, God on any of the appeals. And right now, stand in agreement with your purpose and plan for every life. Everyone that lifted their hand to say, I just want to live this life better. I want to do better in going after God than I did in my past. And so, Father God, I pray today that this would be a living reality for everyone who lifted their hands, everyone who, whose heart is to do better going forward than they have in the days that passed. This I pray and ask in Jesus' name. Therefore, I give you thanks and praise. I'm going to ask everyone to repeat after me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I ask you now, ask you forgive now. me of all of my sin. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. All that I might be yours. Might be yours. Help, me Help me to live this life in a way that honors you most glorifies you best from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on and give the Lord a clap offering in the house. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Be mindful, your thought life is important. As those thoughts may come sometimes that are discouraging, those thoughts that come that say you're worthless, you're never going to be anything. And there's some of us You've been told that there's something here today. You might have been told you you, 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 you don't have what it takes. You, you're just a big mess up. But just because that was said to you doesn't mean that's real concerning you. Right. And you need to know the Bible says that we're wonderfully and fearfully made. The Bible said marvelous is his works. Amen. God has made you so unique, so special, until no one has your exact DNA. Amen. No one else has your exact fingerprint. Amen. The Bible says you are so special, so unique to God, that even the hairs on your head are numbered. Amen. Are you hearing today? Amen. You're special. You need to know that. And, and no matter what life has shown you or what's going on right now, we need to know we really are special. Amen. 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 Yes, and God can do it. It may not have happened yet, but delay does not mean denied. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you receiving this word? Amen. Come on and tell God thank you. Amen. As we prepare to uh, leave on today, uh, we do ask you to bear in mind the um, bear in mind the uh, shoe rally on next week. Pastor's aid committee is leading that. And then let us be praying for the healing service. Some of you need healing in your body. Amen. God is a healer. Listen, cancer <coughs> is not too big for God. Right. And it doesn't matter which cancer you're talking about. And there are multiple different types of cancer. Amen. And some of them are really dreaded. I mean, cancer by itself, many dread. But there are some strands of cancer that, you know, they hardly ever, if ever, have seen anybody recover from. But I'm declaring today that God of eternity is able to heal from that, that nobody has a report that ever anybody else been healed from yet. All right. You said, but they say I have diabetes. Or oh, I'm on the borderline. Hypertension. 
and or Crohn's disease mm -hmm. and or this or that or asthma or you name it. I'm telling you nothing is too hard for God. Amen. All things are possible to him that believes. And if you can stretch your faith, I know God is more than able to meet your needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to encourage you. Let's look with expectation. Let's be prayerful about the service. I'm desirous to see God move in that service. Yeah. The Bible says this, that God confirms his word with Amen. signs following. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. He confirms his yeah. word with signs following. Mm -hmm. And so we want to see the manifestation of the healing. He declared the power that he gave us over all the power of the enemy. We declare we want to see that. Yes. Amen. And we're going to see it. Amen. 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 So I believe in and declaring folk are going to get healed. <laughs> Amen. I'm thankful for all the healing that's already happened. Amen. How many of y'all have experienced some healing this year already? Amen. Look at those hands. Look at those hands. Amen. Amen. And God has more. Yes. So uh, it doesn't matter what you got. It's not too much for God. Glory. If you want, I'm going to, oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank God for Lady Singleton. Amen. She just had a procedure on Friday. Amen. I didn't know if she was going to make it today, but thank God she's here. Amen. 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 Now, now listen. I have DVDs. One for every household. Amen. I'm telling you now, God is calling us to righteous and holy living. Amen. Yes. Somebody said, the devil don't mind you doing what's good if he can keep you from doing what's best. All right now. And sometimes we're caught up doing good stuff, All right. but we're missing the best yes. stuff. The Bible says, a little leaven, leaven is the whole lump. Or some say leaven, leaven is the whole lump. And what we have to be careful about is allowing little sin in that's right, that's right. as if it really don't matter. I'm not hurting anything. I'm not hurting anybody. The Lord understands. But I'm telling you, we also understand he's called us to righteous and holy living. That's right. Amen. And just because he understands doesn't mean he excuses. That's it. That's right. Amen. Are you hearing? Amen. There is a difference. Yes, Lord. And so I have DVDs <laughs> for every household. These are free. We're just going to give them out. Um, I, I'm giving this to you because this is where we're going. <coughs> we must have a more consecrated life to the honor and glory of God. This thing about serving the Lord Jesus can't be so casual as if it really doesn't mean a whole lot. You do it if you want to, you do it like you want to. Uh-uh. God lays out specifics on how he wants us to live this life. And so um, let, me, let me put them in the hands of the usher. And so uh, today as you're going out of the door, the usher is going to be at the door, one to every household. One to every household. Amen. Also, if you're desires for a copy of the message today, uh, Elder will tell you how you can get it. Come on, let's bless God for Elder Adam as you come. Amen. Let's give the Lord a praise for our past elect lady. Amen. We thank God for allowing her to.